Uh, hello. <laughs> it's no, I'm here. Of course, it's me. It's my channel. So I got this uh, SLG time. And I wanted to commentate a bit over the at least the the scouting part because this was a weird scouting, some weird, weird scouting. So um, I started this as a I was just playing RSG, and as you can see, I'm just resetting as you normally would and yeah the run kinda died and I decided to scout it so we'll see I'll just talk over some parts that I wanna clear out so this is still the RSG attempt <coughs> kinda scuff movement here but this this is not the actual attempt this is this counts towards the scouting part actually so like the scouting is RTA not Inge time, so yeah, that was this swing portal, 16 uh, Inge, uh, nuggets, a light, an axe, not bad. <coughs> At this point, I thought of resetting, and then, then I see a village, so a pie chart, no blacksmith, not too, not too excited. But I'm like, okay, if the dragon, uh, the dragon, if the golem drops enough fire, then I can make enough tools and stuff, so sure, I'll play this. I decide to grab some wood here, uh, and again, this is still not anything scouted, this is just RSG at this point. And you'll see in a bit why I decided to scout this. So I'll let this play out for a bit. And I didn't play this village too optimally, but it doesn't matter. Sorry, there's some noises in the background. My cat is here playing with a uh, ball, <laughs> having fun. It's actually a cool part because the axe durability was just enough to kill the golem, which was not calculated. I don't know how to, how much uh, durability lasts. Should probably move this as I'm walking so it doesn't echo. <clears throat> uh, the golem, here I was a bit confused because in my head I was like, oh, I only need four iron, but I didn't. I actually needed five iron to make my tools. And I was, so yeah, that was a bit <laughs> weird. Uh, uh, small misplay. Didn't matter too much because I realized in time. It was just a bit slow, crafting everything. Doesn't matter still, this is not the actual, the actual one. But I gotta show this, it's part of the scouting, technically. So yeah, I just, uh, you know, grab some food, kill the golem, get some wood and beds. And off to find a lava pool. Which I did. I did find a lava pool. I was about to grab some more wood, and I was like, "Oh wait, I just I just uh, used a golden axe to like grab a million logs. No need. Just craft my stuff and head out of the village." Look into this it's cave. Maybe it's worth dig down, but I only had a. If I had the island pick, I would have dug down there, which would probably not be a good play. Because I did see a lava pool over there in the distance. So yeah, the proximity proximity of this overworld. The overworld is really not anything too good. Uh, even for me, I, I, I do go for, like what I go for in RSG is sub 5 enters. Because I'm going, my PB is bad. <laughs> my PB is 26.50. And I actually like... Two attempts before this run, I failed a PB, and I was kind of uh, salty about that because it was all my mistake for forgetting to grab wood. I forgot to grab wood, and I didn't have enough beds. I had four beds, which is doable, but I'm not that consistent at one cycling. Uh, so yeah, I choked it. it was a bit, a bit salty still at this point of the run, at this point of the day. 
you know, two attempts before that I failed, what was it like? It was about to be like a 23, 12, something like that. Now, 430 until is okay for me. And then, you know, do your casual ELA stuff. And so this is, uh, this is where I died. So I know there's a bastion not too far. I see the mob spawner on my pie chart. I see the bastion on the right there. It's a treasure. So the mob spawner doesn't mean much. And this is where I died. So you can see it's... Yeah, <laughs> it was lagging. And I messed up the jump. And then I check. And I reset my timer here. But luckily... Uh, you'll see in, the, in You'll see soon. So I'm just deciding to check the seed. Because I'm still salty about that other one. I st uh, I'm still in that salt mode, you know. Yeah, okay, check the bastion. Nothing too great. I go here when I check, uh, like seeds with treasures. I go down and break the spawner so the eerie, uh, the eerie, the pie chart can wall correctly. And there's still a spawner, so I know there's a fortress or another treasure, but unlikely. Not unlikely, but, you know, there is another mob spawner. Then I check, I keep checking, you know, casual checking. And I see a fortress. Mm, actually, very close. And I'm like, let's, let's check everything, let's check the blind, because I'm that kind of player who <laughs> checks his seed. And look at this. 97. And here I got salty even more. I go down, you can see the storm gold, uh, like right from where I blinded, blinded, and this is actually a really cool storm gold, it's cave exposed, which is very rare, ravine exposed, whatever you call it, exposed, yeah, I see this, and here I'm like, maybe, maybe I should scout this, maybe not, you know, I'm still debating, and I left the seed, did I? I thought I left the seed. Yeah, I did. I did leave the seed. I was like, and and at that point, I was like, I should scout this. I should probably scout this. And let's see. The uh, I started the run at like thirty-five seconds into my own recording. So I'm actually not like watching right now. I'm like not too sure that I did this in time, but we'll see. So I actually accidentally, like not accidentally, I reset my timer, which is a mistake because I didn't know how much time I'd left. Uh, so I just did this as fast as I could. And I'm pretty sure it was under 10 minutes. If not, I'll be kind of sad because I wouldn't be able to submit this. So yeah, this is the overworld. I just go through the seed. Like, let's go through this real quick and I'll try to run it, rerun it. I'll try to scout this as fast as I can because I don't know how much time I've left. So yeah, I check if there's a chest here with iron or armor, there's none. I'm checking the entrance as well, there might be something here, there isn't. So I keep checking. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, SLG is just checking, checking category, checking percent. check I keep checking I forgot one thing I forgot to check so I'm checking iron of course because technically technically the golem could do up five and I'll be fine but if it didn't so yeah I check the I was like okay I'm ready I know the blind is really close I know where the stronghold is I should be good and I'm like wait where was the where was the, st uh, the fortress <laughs> so I log back in the seed so I'm sorry it's a bit probably a bit unenjoyable to watch when I keep leaving and leaving the seed and uh, leaving the wall and uh, going back <coughs> so I'm, I'm just I, I just wanted to see where exactly the uh, the stone uh, the photos was I still have like 45 seconds left I didn't know that at the time but I did have like 45 seconds left I'm, I'm really hoping, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, as I'm recording this, I'm like making sure that I did this in time. 
and I think it's barely I did this barely in time I just wanted to see uh, I just wanted to have like the stronghold codes I, I wasn't gonna check exact the exact uh, actually we'll see here I don't even remember too well Fab. Mm, yeah okay this is the direction yeah I take the codes about 420 negative 1720 that's what I saved just in time actually just in time that's amazing exactly 10 minutes from where I started running the seed on RSG so I can submit this let's go and here I'm starting the run so yeah I didn't take the the polar room codes I didn't have time to but I did know it's above the library that I saw that's all I knew so I didn't route this too much but I did route you know, it's routed, but not fully routed. Yeah, there's the attempt, so I'll, I'll try to talk over the important parts. But it's me, I tend to talk. <laughs> so, I'll we'll just roll with it. Yeah, I know there's an axe here, so instead of doing of looting the chest normally, I do what people do in like FSG and stuff. Just open the chest, take the axe, break the chest. Uh, now in hindsight, I should have kept these hoes. I could have used them to distract piglins in the bastion. Which did cost me a little bit of time. But meh. It wasn't too bad. Now this time, I decide to just grab two logs. Because I didn't want to break my axe accidentally while killing the golem, that would suck. I just grab two logs, so I have blocks to kill the golem. I start from this house, as I did in my run. Now, here I decided to take more beds. <coughs> and... That will ended up, like, uh, being a bad play, because I didn't need them. I didn't need any beds, actually, I just needed wood. Because I got a lot of uh, string, but technically I did high all the bastion quite a lot, so I couldn't have, I couldn't uh, bank on that. Four beds would be enough, but I was like, let's go save because I have a tendency of uh, choking one cycles. Now the reason here I put my beds on my hotbar is because I wanted to use them to kill the golem. It's a thing you can put three beds on top of each other instead of blocks. I'm like, nah, I just grabbed these logs, why would I do that? I grabbed six beds, which was uh, totally useless, I didn't, uh, I needed like two. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't see the golem. He was hiding there, on the corpse. These little golem, golem stuff. I'm grabbing a few more logs. Hugs broke, which is fine. I have enough wood. I just go here real quick to get my tools. So yeah, the, the overworld here is not too great. The like, it's not bad, you have everything you need, but the proximity is kind of bad. I also grabbed too much food, too much food and too much beds, too many beds. <coughs> so that was a mistake, I shouldn't have done that. Here I decided, I forgot to craft my bucket, which is meh, a bit of a time loss, I guess. Grab water here. And off to the lava pool at 3.15, which is slow. I shouldn't have grabbed this much food and that many beds. That lost me a lot of time. Should have grabbed like 2-3 beds and like 3 hay bills maybe. I had an, a lot of food from the chest. So yeah, I'm just I'm playing this exactly the way I did in the RSG attempt. Just safer for whatever reason, even though I scouted this. I guess I played safe because I 
I didn't have a SLG time before that. I was just I just wanted to play out, you know. Uh, kind of going, uh, kind of going stupid on this photo. Did some unnecessary block placements, whatever. I actually needed those logs later, but technically I didn't. <laughs> I had all the beds already. Whatever. Entering the nether here at 4.30, which is about what I had in my RSG attempt. But here I obviously knew ev where everything was. I just had more materials. <clears throat> the reason I'm still pausing here is because my laptop stinks. I also, also reduced my render distance because my laptop actually stinks. If you look how fast it loads the chunks, it's very slow. Here I'm playing this safe for a reason. They kind of died there earlier. And I didn't mention that, but the golem only, only dropped 3 iron, which is not good. It means I need to skip these blocks, deal with those piglins somehow, skip these blocks, and... Uh, you know, it's technically a bit faster to skip them, but it's also riskier. You need to high roll a bit more on the trades. And another thing I forgot to do was checking obsidian. I did check the chests, I just didn't look for obsidian. Yeah, I'm just running through these guys. This is where the golden hose would have become useful. But it didn't matter too much, I had a lot of food. It didn't matter at all. Now, I shouldn't have done that, I shouldn't have got the nuggets, I know there's enough uh, ingots in the other uh, double chest. I got my iron, make my pickaxe, and start my usual ninja brain route. Which is actually, uh, this is like my favorite route out of any bastion, I know those like housing is fun as well, but this is, I don't know, it's just so... Such a easy, easy route, safe route. It's so good, it's so easy, so safe, so clean. I don't know, Ninja Brain route is just the best route. I always like blocking that off because uh, I did have in the past where, you know, you put the gravel on the pigs and the items pop out. And I did have in the past where the items popped out and fell. And I, I and, uh, since then I always placed two blocks there. Also didn't route gold blocks, but... I think I got all of them besides this one. I don't know. We'll see. And that one you need to break the blocks anyway to get to the pigs. So it doesn't matter. So I actually need 10 obi from the trades. So the run could have died right here very easily, but it didn't. Go the usual ninja brain route, grab the blocks, go to the other side, grab more blocks. Yeah, good, good, good gold blocks, I guess. Three on that side, and what was it, like four on the other side? Yeah, it was four on the other side, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't, don't throw all my gold in case there's like another pig on the bottom that I want to distract. I should have kept some gold for a pig, but oh well. And here, I'm like... Crap, I need obby. <laughs> Give me the obby. And I got it. I got actually very lucky on these trades. Like, that's extremely lucky. All, all this thing and all this obby and fire res and pearls. Every, basically everything you need just from what... Where I have like 9 gold blocks, including the ones in the chest, I think, something like that. I'm just grabbing another fire res and I'm out. And I'm looking at my codes, I need to go negative Z. And I pearl down though, which technically wasn't a bad play, but I could have voted to save on a pearl. But on the other hand, I didn't need to. <laughs> Here I should have pearled again, but for some reason like I'm saving on pearls because 
I'm used to playing LSG. Pretty sure I kind of fucked up the the next pill. We'll see in a moment. Now I was trying to pill up to the stronghold, as you do. I know why I'm jumping like that. <laughs> Whatever. And yeah, I barely missed it. So I gotta go up. Now I could throw a pill up, but I don't know if you ever done that. But a lot of the times when you do that, when you throw a pill almost like, uh, like, almost straight up, which I, which is what I needed to do here if I wanted to get on the fortress with a pill. When you do that, a lot of the times the pill actually goes a bit backwards and it's just a waste of a pill, a waste of time and a waste of two and a half hours. So I just go safe, I just build up. And actually the spawner was right above me, but I wasn't too sure. <laughs> I knew the spawner is close. So I just decided to nav this photos normally. I went this way for whatever reason. I just I was a bit confused because of that balcony. It was like uh, another part of the, 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 the photos crossed that balcony. It was a bit confusing. So yeah, I'm navving this photos. Pretty normal. Pretty easy to nav as well. And there's the lava room. And another fire on my hotbar. I'm actually using it. And there's a spawner. I know I, I saw when I scouted, I saw there were two spawners, and I know I wanted to blind next to the one with with the land around it. This one didn't have land around it, so I know it's the wrong one. So I just go next to it to... these widow skeletons were not cooperating. So I got some good strays here as well. Two strays between the spawners, that's good. So actually the drop rates here... I'm gonna spoil it right now, I got 6 out of 12, which is uh, decent, it's not bad at all, 50-50. But the spawn rates were kind of bad. Okay, so here I could have blaze bedded. I should have blaze bedded, but I'm a coward. <laughs> I'm a coward. I tried blaze bedding in the past, and I did it wrong, and I broke the spawner, and I didn't want to do it again, even though there was another spawner right there. And I should have done it, like with the risk of doing it wrong. Uh, dude, I should totally learn how to blaze bed correctly. I watched K4 video, but it didn't sink in too well, you know. And here, I, I, I saw a stray there, so I'm looking back and it did spawn. So that's a bit a bit of a bummer. Also, I, I would have to like pull down there and pull back up. I don't know if it's actually worth it. Yeah, I could blaze bed, but I'm doing this, which is lame. I know it's lame. I promise guys, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm learning how to blaze bed correctly. <laughs> I'm gonna practice it and not just watch a video then break a spawn on it on because that's not a good thing to do. So here, yeah, you can see the spawn rates are actually terrible. I, I mined out the entire spawn and only got a, like a two spawn at the end of it. Here I'm breaking the blocks and I'm like, wait, I don't want the blazes to go in there. I'll just block it and block this <laughs> again. Not playing that, not playing the photos extremely well, but you know, not terrible. And at this point in time, I'm like, wait, maybe, maybe this is a double spawner. Maybe I could go between the spawners and activate both. So in a moment here, I'll try that. So yeah, I'm going in the middle here. I'm trying to activate both of them, and no, I don't activate any of them, so yeah, I'm trying, still trying, yeah, giving up, going back. Just killing time here between the spawn. Way too much food, way too many beds. And at this time I also realized that I forgot my crafting table at the... Forgot my crafting table at the Bastion. <laughs> Luckily there was a tree right here, there was also a tree right after the blind, so not a big deal. 
thick log is more than enough. Four rods. Yeah, the, the, the drop rates are decent, but the spawn rates are kind of terrible. I think this blaze split was like over three minutes, I think, which is bad. Crafting my beds, way too many beds. Should have used one for a blaze bed, but I'm lame. <laughs> I just need the last rod, I got it, and I'm out. I didn't actually know how many eyes the portal had. At this point, I was, uh, for some reason, I thought it had uh, zero. I don't know why I slept here, it was totally unnecessary. And yeah, I know I need to go uh, neg neg. I see the cave. And I just decide to pearl over to it. I pearl onto the zombies, good play though. <laughs> yeah, I could pearl again. Again, I'm just used to saving on pearls because, you know. LSG. I really didn't need to. I wanted to water bucket, but I didn't have water. And yeah, as you can see, oh, that was actually five, uh, 15 minute lag. <laughs> I went the wrong way here. It's kind of dumb. Didn't realize I'm going the wrong way of the library, like to exit the library. And now I need to nab the stronghold because I didn't scout it. I just knew the portal room was above the library somewhere. So I needed to go up. So I'm going up and I see this. What do you do? <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> do you go left? I don't know. I just see another open part of the stronghold and I go there. And then I'm starting to back up. Backwards doors. No? no I'm just checking some areas I guess. What do I do here? I know, I know I need to go up. I don't know why I'm checking this. I'm trying to go up in the stronghold but it's pretty scuffed being cut off by multiple caves and I found it. So not the best nav, kinda got lucky there but whatever. Getting buffed by silverfish. Uh, there's a one eye which Thought it was a zero eye, but whatever. Didn't change anything, I still needed six rods. And here I pause again, because my laptop stinks. I'm waiting for my eye to throw, to actually throw, because I know the world is actually walking. <laughs> I don't know if any of you even need to deal with this while speedrunning, but my laptop sucks so much that I actually need to do this kind of stuff to not, you know, not curl into the void, whatever. Spinning up my one cycle. Um, getting north. I'm getting my XQC hotbar. <laughs> and waiting for the perch, which was extremely fast. I think I did get, yeah, I did get fireball here once. So I actually went to, uh, what was it, Z negative 72, which is the optimal chord, I think, but then the fireball hit me, so I had to go a bit forward. <coughs> and here I'm just, uh, I raised my render distance, so I paused again, because I need my chunks to load, and they did load, because it's the end, and load fast. And the perch was extremely fast, so I got lucky on that. So, very bad second bird, bad fourth bird, and almost missed the last right click on the last bird, but I did it, six birds. So yeah, I didn't need any of the string from the bastion, or I could skip some beds in the village. Whatever, I did it, I got it, this is my first SLG run. I'm kind of happy about it, you know. I only had like, what, five minutes to scout it? Even less with all the leaving and rejoining. You know, I'm just doing some dumb stuff, you know. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll be submitting this. See ya.